right, coming up next, we get to this featherweight clash between Conor McGregor and Bruce Lee. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. All right, so here he is, DC, the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history, former two-division UFC champion Conor McGregor. And a lot of people thought maybe he wouldn't come back to the proven ground. He's got a lot to prove when it comes to his MMA legacy. And as such, McGregor returns to the octagon here tonight. When you talk about Conor McGregor, you're talking about a star that transcends mixed martial arts. We've seen a lot of people come and go, but no one has ever reached the level of Conor McGregor. And you think he's just a talker. No, there is a ton of substance to everything that he does. From the moment he stepped into the octagon, he said what he was gonna do, and he eventually did it. From knocking guys out left and right to becoming a two-division champion, knocked out Jose Aldo, knocked out Eddie Alvarez, there's just too much to say about the Notorious. And I'm glad you put it that way because he is this larger-than-life character, and I think at times people lose sight of just how skilled a martial artist this is. Elite striker, tremendous distance management, few move better on the feet than Conor McGregor, and they look to put those striking skills to good use yet again tonight as Conor McGregor returns. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this featherweight tilt. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age and they both possess a similar height and reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we go to the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, two losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Potter McGregor! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves yeah. make up for you. that many of us thought we would never see. Conor McGregor and Bruce Lee, they have locked the door behind. I mean, you gotta think that Conor and his fight stance, some of it is based off of Bruce Lee. Watching Bruce Lee compete, the fluidity that he moves with. Conor has a movement coach. It seems as though Bruce Lee has this just naturally. Right. It's a swagger about him, something that he carries that not many fighters possess. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. 
just misses with the straight left hand. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Nice strike by McGregor there. I mean, Conor McGregor is a fantastic striker, and once again, that skill is on display. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Caught that kick there. Right up the elbow. Over and over and over. He's landing these nasty body kicks. Ooh. These guys throwing early. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. Beautiful body kick. A knee there. Nice deception there to get that knee to the target. Really good knee. Nice job of driving it right to the target. Get the land exactly where you want. Ooh, what a punch. Big leg kick land. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quick. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind that educated jab. 36 total strikes have found the mark for Conor McGregor. Look at that great work to the body from the clinch. Ooh. Out of range with that one. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Big leg kick land. Beautiful land there by McGregor. Made it look easy on that exchange. He is such a diverse striker, but he's very tricky in the approach when he's trying to land that left hand. Oh, high-level stuff as he counters with that right hand. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just going to be one head snapping back. It's going to be boxers going back and watching this guy going, wow. This is what a jab is supposed to look like. Under two minutes to go here in round one. Big head kick. Oh, nice jab to the head there by McGregor. He got him whip his hip into that kick. Slips. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. There, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Oh, that's a good right hand. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Blocks the shot. Timing the shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Just out of range with the big right hand. Lee's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Just a slip there. Oh, that straight punch knocked his head in the wrong direction. Really putting his opponent on notice. You got to check these low leg kicks. 30 seconds to go in this one. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. 20 seconds left. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. And now he's got that tight clinch. Right hand punch with the clinch. Look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Stop, stop, stop. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. 
All right, here we go with round two. Round one, pretty good, not great, but some action on both sides. We can't always hope for follow-up shots. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta deal with the ebbs and flows of a fight. In round number one, you saw both guys have success. Let's see who really charges out ahead in the second round. Nice punch lands over the top. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes up. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Oh, nice straight left. And both guys really throwing with authority. Big head kick lands. And he landed the right hand there. Vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, man. Check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Get you, get you. Beautiful head kick. Nice strike. Well, Conor McGregor's hands have never looked sharper, and perhaps it's all that boxing preparation when he fought Floyd Mayweather back in the day. He felt like a lot of that would translate to mixed martial arts, and if this fight is any indication, he was prophetic with those words. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Nice. Lower jaw, very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Oh! Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. Head kick partially blocked. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. That was a thudding leg kick. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Big ball for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Just misses with the straight. Attempts the front kick there. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Beautifully placed there by McGregor. Nice defense there. Huge block. Oh, man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. Straight right. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. 
McGregor gets caught with that punch, he'd be wise to get those hands up. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now moving forward. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. With Corner, was able to relay that message to their fighter better in between rounds. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking down early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Right punches there. Well, Conor McGregor looking the part of mixed martial arts superstar as usual tonight. He has navigated the A-list celebrity status pretty well, all things considered. Everybody wants a piece of this guy, the top shows. But one thing that always seems to be at the heart of Conor McGregor, the work ethic, the MMA discipline really has never won. Oh, just misses with the kick. Slips the punch. Bunches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, big head kick. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, man, you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did, because I have times where I've been kicked like that. I'm gonna tell you one thing, it does not feel good. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Ooh, big shot land. Well, no surprise as he connects once again, and that looked like it landed right on that cut. Right on the cut, and he's targeting it, right? He's looking, you can see him almost putting a laser beat on that cut. He's just putting his hands on it. It doesn't take much. He just keeps making his split, showing his opponent that he has no mercy. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Oh, such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like a dude sitting there with a red target on his nose, just getting beat up. Hit bullseye after bullseye after bullseye. I love his ability to faint once and then throw that jab right behind it. It's nasty. That was stuck in. Nice strike. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Connor. And they separate. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Nice job to raise the guard and block another strike there. He doesn't want the ringside position anywhere near this octagon. He has to understand 
that at any moment, if this thing goes down into the eye, the referee and the commission will have to stop the fight. Great job being aware, keeping the hands up and blocking, making sure to minimize the damage to that already cut eye. Not there. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into position where he can get off his strikes. Well, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Nice punch by McGregor. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much pain. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. He's already landed several in this round, and the damage is really starting to take its toll. Yeah, it's really starting to take its toll. And you watch the opponent walking gingerly on his leg, and one big tell that you're starting to really do well with your leg kicks is when your opponent starts to switch stances. Right. Watch for a stance switch very soon. Nice punch by Lee. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Lands flush with that right hand. Oh, big head kick land. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Way to hide that leg kick. Back and forth we go! Under three minutes remain in round four. Straight punch on the counter is good by McGregor. Would you look at the size of that bruise on his torso? Nasty. Oh, nice job with the knee strike there. That'll work out. He thought it would be available. He just knew he had to find the right time. So with that, was the right time. Let your hands go. Let those hands go. Straight punch lands. McGregor gets absolutely punished by that. His opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Beautiful right punch follows it up with the left. Well, eventually, you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end this They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. Just out of range with that right hand. Now connects with the right. Nice kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the body. 
big body kick lands. Just missed with the leg kick. Nice punch there by Lee. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by McGregor. Oh, big elbow. Beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. Oh, oh, and he's never seen. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Lands to the body there. There's no give on that leg. Nice punch by Lee. Oh, caught him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh, my goodness. He got kicked in the head, and he's still standing. Nice body right on the elbow. Tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. The right hook to the body. Ten seconds remaining here in round four. Oh, effective strike there by Lee. Nice sneaky head kick. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. Parts right, of so the round mercifully comes to an end. And how about the cut on his lip? Really, really bad. If that thing gets any worse, they're gonna certainly have to stop this fight. The doctor looks like he's already gonna be called in here. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Oh, big punch land. Into the body. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, big left hand there. Massive head kick. He's mixing up his target. He's throwing kicks. He's throwing punches. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Nice leg kick. The next with a right. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Nice body kick land. Oh, massive kick lands flush. Real quick leg kick. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by McGregor. Really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Good punch. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Trying to kick the leg out. Fixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Big kick land. Punch coming, it's blocked. Nice straight there by Lee. Come on, give me some more. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your big. Big punch lands. Ooh. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Checks the leg kick. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Clipped him with the right hand there. 
Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. Liver kick. Under two minutes to go in the fight. Nice punch there. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Big kick lands. Lands with the right hand. Nice body kick. And they separate. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. One minute to go in the fight. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Beautiful straight punch there by Lee. Both fighters throwing heat now. Side kick. Effective strike there by McGregor. Well, that's not what you're looking for defensively. He moved right into that hook, and his opponent wisely lands it to the body there. He has been increasingly more susceptible to that strike. Let's see if that one gets his attention. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just... Oh! Oh! A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. What else can you say but what a fight? All right, so a lot to like over the distance of that fight tonight. Clearly, we think we saw one guy win the fight and largely got it done with the striking. Yeah, he got it done with the striking. And that's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a guy that's so comfortable whenever he's in the stand-up. And that showed tonight as he truly outworked his opponent. Right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 49-46, 48-47, and 49-46. Declare the winner by unanimous decision, the notorious Connor McGregor! Well, he did not get the finish that he certainly prioritized when we